Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to be looking at how to use the DRV8825 stepper motor driver to control the direction and speed of rotation of a bipolar stepper motor using Arduino. DRV8825 stepper motor drivers are used in controlling small and medium sized bipolar stepper motors like NEMA 17 and 23 which are used in applications like 3D printers and CNC machines. This is our DRV8825 stepper motor driver. This motor driver is similar to another driver I looked at in my other tutorial. This is the A4988 stepper motor driver. I'll put a link in the description below this video where you can be able to visit and have detailed information about this other driver. These drivers almost have the same pinout and can even be used interchangeably in some applications. However, there are some fundamental differences between the DRV8825 and A4988 stepper motor drivers. The operating voltage of the DRV8825 stepper motor driver is from 8 to 45 volts, while for this one is from 8 to 35 volts. The maximum micro step resolution for DRV8825 stepper motor driver is 1 out of 32, while for A4988 stepper motor driver is 1 out of 16. The maximum current per phase for the DRV8825 is 1.5 amps, while for A4988 is 1.2 amps. When calculating the reference voltage for determining the current limit for each of these motors, the formulas are different. Also, the slip pin on the DRV8825 stepper motor driver is not pulled up by default, while for this other motor driver, the slip pin is pulled up by default. Then you also have to know that the DRV8825 stepper motor driver does not have a separate power supply for the internal circuitry of the driver like the way it is for the A4988 stepper motor driver. So for this driver, these two pins below here, this is the VCC and the ground. These are the power supply for the internal circuitry of the driver. While for the DRV stepper motor driver, this one doesn't have a separate power supply for the driver. So it draws its power from the power supply using an internal 3.3 volts voltage regulator. So for the A4988, here there is a VCC pin for the internal circuitry of the driver, while for the DRV this is the fault pin. The fault output drives low whenever the H bridge transistor is disabled due to overcurrent protection or thermal shutdown. This fault pin is shorted to the slip pin and whenever the fault pin is driven low, the entire chip is disabled until it is reset. So to that main, you're going to look at the DRV8825 stepper motor driver. Uh, something else I want to talk about was this driver comes with a heatsink and it is always good practice to install it before using the driver. This is because the DRV8825 driver IC has a maximum current rating of 2.5 amps per coil. But if more than 1.5 amps per coil is supplied, a lot of heat is dissipated which can eventually damage the IC. Therefore to get more than 1 amps per coil, a heatsink is required. So we are going to get this heatsink and we have to place it on top of this IC here. You should be careful when placing your heatsink on this driver so that the heatsink doesn't touch any of these pins here. Because these pins are metallic, so in case you supply a voltage to this driver when the heatsink is touching these pins, you are going to have a short circuit here and you end up frying your driver. So you should be very careful when you are putting your heatsink. If we can be able to use our motor driver to drive a step up motors, we need to first set the current limit. This is very important because it prevents the current flowing through the step up motor coils from exceeding the motor's rated current. Excess current will overheat and eventually damage the motor and driver. And also the best speed and torque for a given motor are achieved when the motor is running at its rated current. I'm going to be getting the current limit using the voltage reference which corresponds to the maximum current that will flow through the step up motor. So let me now first show you how we can be able to capture the voltage reference for this motor driver using Arduino. So this is the setup you are going to be using to be able to find the current limit of the DRV8825 stepper motor driver. The current limit can be got by measuring the voltage reference which corresponds to the maximum current that will flow to your stepper motor. The reference voltage is got by dividing the maximum motor current by 2. You can get this rated motor current from the motor's data sheet. In my case I'm using this motor here this is an MR17 motor and its rated current is 1.7 amps therefore the reference voltage will be 1.7 divided by 2 which is 0.85 so it's the one I'm going to be measuring here. First you need to connect the power supply of the driver to an external power source between 8 to 45 volts and then you need an electrolytic capacitor of around 47 to 100 microfarads in my case I'm using 100 microfarads 
This capacitor is very important because it protects the motor driver from destructive LC voltage spikes. Then I will connect the ground to Arduino ground and also the slip and reset pins to the 5 volts of Arduino. I'm going to be using a multimeter to measure my reference voltage. So what I will do, I will get the leads of the multimeter and connect them to alligator clips. Now this is the negative lead. I'm going to connect it to an alligator lead and this alligator lead is going to be connected to the ground of Arduino. Then the positive lead, I'm going to connect it with an alligator lead and connect it to a screwdriver. We are going to be using this screwdriver to turn the potentiometer on the motor driver so that we can be able to adjust the reference voltage. First, you need to power on the Arduino board and also power on the motor driver. Then let's turn on our multimeter. I put it around 2 volts because we are said our reference voltage is 0.85 volts. Then I'll place my screwdriver on the potentiometer here and then begin adjusting to get 0.085. So we'll be turning it. When you turn and clockwise, the voltage increases. When you turn clockwise, it decreases. We shall go on adjusting slowly by slowly until we get what we want. One zero point eight five. So I can even stop around there. Okay. After adjusting the reference voltage, let's now have a look to be able to control the speed and direction of rotation of a bipolar stepper motor using Arduino and the DRV8825 stepper motor driver. This is the setup I'm going to use to demonstrate how to control a bipolar stepper motor using DRV8825 stepper motor driver and Arduino. The connection between the stepper motor driver and Arduino remains the same as it was before when we are calculating the reference voltage. We are only going to be adding the connection to the stepper motor. So I'll be connecting these four wires from the two coils of the stepper motor. So I'll connect the black, green, blue and red wires to A1, A2, B1 and B2. Then I will also connect the direction pin, Arduino, digital pin 2, and the step pin to Arduino, digital pin 3. So in most cases, we find that the stepper motors come when the wires from the same coil are next to each other. They are already arranged in order. So you just connect directly. For example, in this case, you realize that the red and purple wire are from the same coil, and then the green and black wire are from also the same coil. So when you are connecting them with the stepper motor driver, you just connect them directly. However, if you are not very sure of the connections of these wires, then you, you need to first find out which of the wires are connected to the same coil. To do that, you can use some simple methods here. The first one, you can just connect the ends of the wires together. For example, I can connect the green wire and black wire here. Then after connecting them, you turn the shaft. I'll be using this other motor as an example. And if those wires are from the same coil of the motor, when you are trying to turn the shaft, you feel a lot of resistance in turning the shaft. So that means those wires are from the same coil. However, if you connect wires from different coils, for example, if I connect the black wire and the red wire, and you try to turn the shaft, the shaft will be turning freely, meaning that those they are from different coils. So that's one of the tests. Another one, you can use an LED. For example, let me use this red LED here. I place it between the green and black wire, then I turn the shaft, and as you can see, the LED, it will blink. There will be some blinking of the LED. That shows that these wires belong to the same coil, green and black. However, if I put it between green and purple wires, and I turn the shaft, you see, nothing is happening to the LED. So that's how you test which of these wires belong to the same coil of the stepper motor. That's a handy trick in case you have stepper motors, and you don't know which of the wires belong to the same coil. Now let's look at the kind of code that we are going to be using to be able to run this setup here. This is the code we are going to use to test the working of our DRV8825 stepper motor driver with Arduino to control the direction and speed of rotation of our bipolar stepper motor. The code begins by defining the pins for the connections of the direction and step pins. We have already shown that the direction pin is connected to digital pin 2 of the Arduino and the step pin is connected to digital pin 3. Then the stepper motor we are using makes 200 steps per revolution. In the setup section, we simply declare the step pin and direction pin as output. And then in the loop, we begin by setting the direction of rotation using the direction pin. We make it high. That means that the motor will be rotating in the clockwise direction. Then this for loop is used for sending one pulse across the coils of the motor. So we begin by sending, making the step pin high, give it a delay of one second, and then making it low. That is one pulse. Every pulse produces one step, so this procedure has to be repeated, the number of steps that we want to make. In our case, we are going to be repeating it four times the steps per revolution, meaning that we are going to be making four revolutions. 
The delay microseconds function is used for determining the speed of rotation. We leave a delay of one second and then change the direction of rotation by turning the direction pin low and then repeat the for loop so the motor can now rotate for revolutions in the opposite direction. I will leave a link in the description below the video where you can be able to have access to the code. Let me now upload this code to the Arduino board and then we see how it's going to be working. I have now finished uploading the code to the Arduino board. Let's now see how this works. So I'm now going to give the power supply to the driver. So as you can see, according to the code we are given, the motor will be turning four revolutions in a clockwise direction and then four revolutions in the anticlockwise direction. And that's because we are now in full step mode. So in full step mode, it means all these other step resolution selection pins are all low. So if I want to change the step resolution, I can make one of these pins high and then we see. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this stepper motor driver into half step resolution. In half step resolution, the pin M0 is going to be made high. So I've connected M0 to 5 volts, therefore it's now high. That means now the stepper motor is in half step mode. And always keep in mind, before changing the step resolution of the motor, you need to first power down the stepper motor driver. I've now changed the step resolution to half step mode. Let's now power our motor and then we see how it's going to move. So you see now, the motor is now only making two revolutions because it is in half step mode. To put it in quarter step mode, we need to make M1 high. So I'm going to change this from M0 to M1. Now let's turn on our stepper motor and we see. And as you can see now, the motor is only making one revolution. Because in quarter step mode, we need 800 steps per revolution. And that's what is happening here. So that's how we control a bipolar stepper motor using the RV8825 stepper motor driver. Hope you've learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to watch my other tutorials. Thanks for watching.